Today I'd like to talk about two exciting pieces of silver we got in. So, from the 1860s through about the 1920s, the major silver companies, Tiffany, Gorham, Toll, Lunt, Durgan, Whiting, among others, made extravagant flatware and hollowware. You know, they made great candelabras and tea sets, everything that was special. But another, one thing that they made that was also a big business was trophies. So they made trophies for every type of pursuit. You know, so there were baseball, there was football, there was autos, you know, there was horse racing. And some of those were really works of art. And, and like the one right next to me. So this was the McDonald Campbell Perpetual Endurance Race Trophy. So it was for, may, started in 1907 and it went through 1909. And so it was a, a 300 mile endurance race in the Philadelphia area. And um, the interesting thing was this and, and a couple of other races became the Indy 500. And so um, actually, and the Indy 500 began in 1909 and this race was ended. Okay, so I love this piece. First of all, it's extremely heavy. It's made by the Whiting Company. It has ivy and berries for the motif. But the exciting part to me is the way they signed it. So this is all acid etched, very time consuming work. They have the winners on the back, one of which was a Stanley steamer. You know, very interesting car. And then on the front, we have an acid etched car. Just a beautiful piece of work. It has an interesting story. About 25 years ago, I was doing a show in Indianapolis. A young man came in and he said, do you want to buy a piece of silver? And I said, yes. And he said, well, I inherited my father's auto dealership and um, we're redecorating. He had this as a centerpiece of the auto dealership and it doesn't fit in with my new modern design. So I want to get rid of it. So I was not real thrilled with this person getting rid of his father's prized possession but you know if I didn't buy it someone else would so I bought it. and then I was doing the big shows in Miami and at the Miami Beach show some someone came in it was actually from Chicago and they said they would like to buy it they bought it 25 years ago and then recently I was visiting a little antique show in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. And one of the dealers came up to me and said, remember that great trophy you had 25 years ago? Well, the guy wants to sell. I was like, well, I'd love to have that back. And so I had it 25 years ago, and now I have it today. And I'm happy both times. So, so I have one other exciting piece of silver to show you. So tea caddies have always been popular. This is about as good as they get. So this one was made by Gorham. It has a date mark of L. L means 1879. And then it's modeled on oriental tea caddies. So this one has a gold butterfly, a big spider web. It has copper bugs. It has copper and gold sand around the bottom. One of the more interesting things about this one is that there's big dents, a lot of hand hammering, but there's also big dents on the side. And you think, oh, it's dented, it's damaged. No, this was to make it look like it was centuries old when in reality in 1879 it was new. So, but you know, there's been thousands and thousands of tea caddies made. And to me, this one is the best. And um, I've had three
three of these in the last 30 years. Each one has been somewhat different than the others, but all on the same idea. And um, this one I sold about 20 years ago. And then last week, the customer called me and said, can you do a minor repair on it? And I said, certainly. So uh, this one we do not own, but we, I, when it came in, it was an old friend and I was happy to see it again. And I thought I'd talk about my favorite tea caddy. Thank you.